Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you join me for the first time. My name is Sasha Reed, and today I've got a very quick project share to share with you from Alina Crafts. Um, I made the album that came. So this album die comes with 31 pieces. It's absolutely epic. It's massive. There's just tons in here. Um, and those are the album bits there. Um, I will give you a brief overview. If you'd like a tutorial on how to make this, if you've bought this die and you'd like to know how, then pop me a comment below, let me know, um, and I can try and do a tutorial for you on how to build it and assemble it. I'd like to gauge how much interest there is though first before I invest time into doing one. I will tell you what you need of each of these though. Um, Alina has also done a tutorial on her channel on assembling the... Um, the album die as well. So this set I think is really good for anyone starting out with die cutting. Um, it's kind of got one of everything in there. You've got happy birthday, um, you've got baby, you've got wedding. There's several words in this set. There's several little tags. Um, there's flowers, there's stars, there's wine glass. I mean there's so many different things you can do with this. This looks like a giant button to me. It's upside down at the moment. Uh, there's a little flower there. Uh, but basically what you need to do is, this is the spine of your album, you need one of these cut. These are, this is your pocket pages, so you'll need four of these, because when this is assembled you get four um, pockets, so you need four of this die. Then you will also need four of these, this is the pull out pocket, you'll see what I mean in a second when I start to show you mine. So you'll need four of these. Then this is the spine of the album, the rectangular one. This is what's going on the back, and I'll point this out when we get to it. Then you've got a large square and a small square. Now the large square is your front and your back cover. You'll need four of these as well, because you'll put one on the outside, one on the inside for the front and the back. This is a decorative square, which fits nicely inside there so that you can cut a designer paper to go on top. This square also fits nicely on there and somewhere in my office because I did not bring it out um, and I apologize because I've just twigged there are um, die cut pieces that go inside of here the same shape and die cut pieces that go inside of here the same shape and those ones you will need eight of I think because I put one on each side of there and then I I didn't put anything on this one I don't believe um, so that's what you need for the basic assembly. So die cutting probably takes just as much time as building the album because you have to run it through so many times, but it's well worth it. So this is my little album and I'll zoom in on it so that you can see it a bit better and a bit more clear, hopefully. Okay, so this is the cover. I die cut it out of black pearlescent card from Lime Tree Crafts, which is my favorite craft um, card cardstock store. This is included in the set. These are Alina's little flat back pearls that just came out in the last release, the colored ones. And then these I got from AliExpress. They're just um, book corner ends and all you do is you just pinch them on basically and um, it just kind of makes it feel more like a solid book. I'm going to zoom out a bit because I think it's getting a bit difficult to see. Um, so yeah, so those are just from AliExpress. Now this is what I was talking about, this is the back rectangular um, bit there that you cut out for your spine, so you can see all your pages going there. This I just measured the um, spine and then I cut a piece just slightly smaller um, to go in there. And I might add some words or might put something like happy birthday or wh whoever I'm going to give this to, I might then use the die cut words and put them on the back. But I'm going to just get cracking and show you the inside. So this is cheapo paper I got from Canada in like a paper pack and I used the same pa paper pack for the whole album just because I found then everything matches. So this is that little paper clip that comes in the set. Um, it's a bit boring on the back so I might actually just back it with a second one of these and then that way it's more sturdy and then it's a bit more pretty. Um, there's the flower that came in the set with one of the flat back pearls and then this just slides out like that. I might put a bit of white here but I've made the pockets, I've shut them and sealed them tightly, so getting this in and out gets a bit tricky. So I, I'm not sure what I'll do just there, but that's kind of like your journaling area, 
or you can put photos on, but this is what I was meaning. You want eight of those because I put one on each side. You don't have to have one on each side. And you could do some journaling on there as well. And I mean, a white gel pen would be quite cool. Then for all my little pages, so I cut these squares out um, as the extra little page that I can tuck in that pocket as well. And then I just punched a hole through and put a brad in. And then this is some string that I got from Aldi. It was um, on offer um, because it's like baby, baby blanket making yarn or something. And I just thought it was really soft and it's got this kind of kinky design to it and it was all in pastel colors and I just thought it was really sweet. So I got some of that and I've been using that on my crafting, but I just put two, um, two colors together and then ran it through and I made that little card. So then that tucks into that pocket again. Then on my next page, I used one of the labels and stuck it on. And then again, you pull the pocket out, or the journaling card out. And then there's the pocket on this side, which is like that. And then that comes out as well. And then I just stuck a couple labels on there. Wasn't sure what I'm doing yet, but I just thought I would decorate it. That one comes out of there. Now these pocket flaps, you can stick on whichever way you want. You can either stick it in and you can have it fold that way or you can have it fold that way, whichever you prefer. Um, that's the butterfly again and I used the heart that came out of the paper clip for the center of the butterfly. And then there's another one of those flowers. I really, really like them. And then that I just stuck on one of the jewels from Alina's little latest release. Then on this one I stuck a label there and again these pull out. They all pull out. And then there's another little one of those cards. And then I stuck a label on there, and then that's the back. So it's quite a cute, sweet little album. And it probably took me start to finish probably two hours, maybe two and a half hours. But it took me a long time to pick what paper I wanted and then to pick what embellishments I wanted to put on it. Um, because there's so many that come in this pack, it took me a little while to decide what I wanted to put on and then die cut them all. So I haven't used any of the leaves yet, but I used some of the flowers. Um, but it's really sweet and really cute and it is quite small. I think that's my hand. So it's just little. Um, I don't have a ruler to measure it, but I think, oh, I'll put the measurements on the screen and then you can see. Um, I've asked Alina if there's any chance that this will be me be made bigger. I said, could you maybe make a six by six one because that would be quite fun. And she said that they are in the process of working on a design and creating one that's bigger because people are loving albums at the moment. So she is looking into making a much bigger one of these. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's my little album. Project. Here it is. Isn't this cute? It's so teeny tiny. And um, it probably took me, all, uh, let's see, about a day. <laughs> I Well, yeah, about a day to work on this on and off. Um, just because it's, you know, it's still a, an album. So there's still a lot of elements in there. So um, a lot of die cutting. And, um, but yeah, it only took a day. So usually albums take me like, I don't know, a week or so because they're, you know, it's a lot of work, but it's so tiny and um, it was pretty, you know, quick as long as you know, you know, what uh, collection you're using, what theme you have, uh, you know, it goes pretty easy. But um, so, yeah, this is my album. And here we'll just kind of start off with the spine here put it together the way I wanted it. Um, this creates the spine basically. Um, I used this trim from Hobby Lobby and then this was one of the cut aparts. Um, really cute and it's an anchor and I just put a little bling from Alina Craft. Oh let me just share that. I used the, the two bling that I used was this right here as well as this, oops, this one. So this is my favorite one to use. It's the clear iridescent one, the gems, and then um, 
I got an opportunity to use this purple one since it, the paper collection does have a lot of purples. It's mostly purple, really. Purple and blues. So, yeah, I basically just um, constructed the base with the purple uh, cardstock, which is 110 pound. And then um, I added, I matted them with those square pieces from the collection. And um, this measures, once assembled, let me show you. This is a three yeah it's practically a three by three album with a two and a quarter inch spine okay and of course it's three inches this way too and um, I used again one of those um, clasp ribbon clasp I wanted to have a closure for it so that I can add my charms because normally I for a mini album, I would add my charm here. I'd make a hole here and then put a charm. But because I put this bling and it's nicely decorated already, I really didn't want to make a hole and hang it, anything to cover the, you know, the spine. So I decided to just put a clasp and, you know, some hardware so that, because um, I have all these charms, um, sea theme charms, so I wanted to use it. So instead I used um, two of the ribbon clasp, and as you can see, you can use it this way too. And um, I just put a chain, so. And then it's just, it's closed using a lobster clasp, so let's open this. Okay, so here is those uh, purple um, gems, and then, oh, there's, um, flat back pearl there. Uh, this sticker right here is actually from, I think it's from Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I thought that was really nice to put there in the, um, you know, on the cover. And then um, once you start layering and layering, it gets pretty sturdy. So um, again, I matted it with this and um, I put some uh, gems here. This was actually a boo-boo that I was covering up. So that's what you can do with some of these gems. You can cover up your boo-boos. <laughs> and um, yeah, what happened was I, instead of clamping this um, ribbon uh, clasp here, for some reason I put it down here, which was really dumb, but I just kind of got disoriented and I put the clasp here and I, I, um, had to take it off and so it left a mark so I had to put some gems but look it turned out really cute right <laughs> because I ended up putting gems here and then I put gems here just to you know balance it out and of course I had to put it here so really pretty and then um, you could even make a little hole over here if you wanted and add a charm wouldn't that be cute or you can uh, put velcro or a magnet under this mat here and then put a magnet under this mat and then you can this can be magnetized but I didn't do that because I don't know wasn't thinking about it and I should have put the magnet but no worries so of course um, this can be a mat you can put a um, picture there if you want it and then each one has a pocket here so what I did was um, when I constructed the spine, okay, that would be like here, I um, used this piece right here, okay, does that look familiar, this here, I cut that out and matted them, why well, didn't mat it, I constructed the bottom first, but I used this piece, and then I used this piece right here, to create this and then I just um, glued this down so that this would close over it. Does that make sense? So that was each page is actually constructed the same way. It would have this folded piece, you open it, you can put a picture here, picture there if you wanted. Probably just here because there's a sentiment and then each one has a, um, a picture mat. 
and here I use that little tail from that Build a Mermaid. Um, I didn't want to use the other mermaid tail, the ones I, I used to create my uh, keychains because I thought it was a little big. So um, I used this one instead. I thought this one was uh, a better size. So they're basically all very similar. I will go over it. So here's the next page here. See you soon. Um, again, this is another of the square, you know, those little square cut aparts. And uh, I just used um, this to mat it, this die here. And then this one opens up like that. And as you can see, these again are um, the cut aparts. And then I matted that. And this I fussy cut, really cute. And I kind of made a boo-boo there. I meant to um, put the shell on top of this mat, but I tucked it in under there instead. So that was a boo-boo. That could have been a nicer finish, but yeah. Oh, and this mat here is that uh, door frame um, set. Okay. Um, that's what I used that for. I used it for the mat, the mats to insert in the um, in the pockets. Always be a mermaid. Really cute. I didn't you know, like you know embellish it much. You can though because as you can see, you have a half an inch gusset. Isn't that great? It's really roomy. So, but I didn't embellish it. Not yet. I probably will. I probably put some seashells and stickers and things. Um, this one here is a pocket. This is again from the cut apart. And um, I just fussy cut this and there's a little thing there. And then I can, again, I just kind of alternated the fin and the shell. And there's that one. Isn't this fun? I really enjoyed this. It's really like a cute and easy way to just create a little mini album. This one here, I used um, one of the flowers from um, this same set. I love that this set just gives you so many different um, small dies to decorate the album. It's like it's it's such a complete set, so it's totally worth it. I didn't adhere this all the way down. You can still tuck something in there. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to tuck in something in there, like a picture, you can. And then this one says, again, seize the day, waves for days. Um, again, I matted it. So just used different papers from the collection. And this is where I meant to put um, the little pearl, half um, flat back pearls. I meant to put them here on the shells, but I forgot. And then here's that. And then this one says shell, yeah. And if you want, you can even decorate with a ribbon maybe, or I don't know, some bling. You can decorate the, um, the spine. So this is like very minimally decorated. Um, but I just thought it came out so cute and you just, um, oh, and the back looks like that. And you can just easily close it like so. And what a cute little mini memory deck. I mean, memory book, right? Isn't this so cute? I love it. I love the way it came out. So I hope you liked my little mini and also my little memory decks and thanks so much for watching guys and for um hanging out with me today have a great day talk to you later bye um as you can see this is french inspired la perry okay and um i got the stickers everything in here is from
Michaels, except uh, the items that I will go ahead and share with you that are not, okay? Um, so the very first thing that I have is bling here from Dollar Tree. This little frame is from AliExpress. And then um, I have the Take Me to Perry. And this is going to be your first little uh, insert. Okay, right here. And you turn the page. And so here is the little page that it makes. Okay. So that goes in and out really easily. And you even get the shadow layer die for this. Okay, and then this page right here is the Ooh La La Shoe page. And this bling in the middle here is from Hobby Lobby. All of these little blings inside the middle here. Okay, another little insert. It's like you can put a picture here, you can put a picture there. So I've got Paris with wine and two glasses. And then on the opposite side, we have more wine. <laughs> we have C'est La Vie. And then another insert here with wine bottles. Okay. Eiffel Tower. Then we have You and Me, We, oui. <laughs> with a perfume bottle. And then everything we love about Paris here, croissant, ca coffee, and cheese. And this. And then I wanted to add a bicycle here uh, because there's a bicycle on the front. So I figured the front and the back would have a bicycle on it. So this came from Dollar Tree. The bling came from Dollar Tree here. Okay. And then the ribbon is Joanne's. So it just, I went ahead and added um, a little ribbon closure here to keep it closed. I thought it turned out super, super cute, guys. Thanks for joining me. I will go ahead and link the die in the description box so you can jump on over to Alina's store and take a look at it. Bye, guys.